Hello my dear pilots, I'm back, after a little break and I've been enjoying playing airplanes for a few days now. I like the candy event very much, it's really nice to shoot down bombers, not allow to do 8k personal points in battle, and take candy away from them. In the meantime you ask me where it took me, I went back to playing tanks, but only to remind myself how much this game pissed me off, those who played, know it with their own eyes. It was nice to get fucked by fucking RNG again. And for good measure, Wargame Minsk. Introduce new tanks, of course, in packs where you can spend your parents hard earned money, or be more stupid and spend yours. So not wanting to spend money on this fucking game I got my ass fucked by a new Chinese overpower tank. Who has fireworks in his ass. No, seriously, I'm not joking tank with rocket boosters, fuck I'm thinking what else, maybe the next one will have water cannons. Or combat gas, but that will probably be for German tanks. In any case, I calm my nerves by playing planes, and what's interesting, is a nice event on the plane P61 Black Widow. Really interesting aircraft, but I don't think it makes sense, to buy non-existent candy with your existing money to get this machine. Our dear Wargame Minsk shows us a short video to encourage us to spend fucking money on virtual candy. It sounds like idiocy but it is. Oh and I remembered a joke. A father comes to the doctor with his son and says doctor my son is fucked up he needs to be treated. The doctor asks what's wrong with him? Well he spent the money on the game that he claims to be for free. And who the fuck is making these promotional videos? Do they want us to believe, that this machine flying straight as hell can shoot down a heavy fighter with a rear gunner? But, don't get me wrong World of Warplanes is a really fun game despite the bomber are overpower, and I hope greed won't win, and the game won't be fucked up, it develops well, and keeps balance, and comparing tanks to planes, is like comparing cow shit to candy, and no I'm not exaggerating. Before I show you how I steal candy from bomber pilots, let me say a word about the P61. This machine has the best maneuverability of all heavy fighters on its tier, and on the tier it will fight, so from 7 to 9th. Before, the best was the F-82E but that's history. Now we have a new toy, that is even more maneuverable, and in fact it's more maneuverable than some multi-roll. But there is nothing to be happy about because this plane is the slowest of all heavy fighters in its tier. 700 base speed is a joke to me. In addition, in such an aircraft, all pilots will usually strengthen maneuverability. So this supposedly ninja powerful rear gunner will come in very handy. The front armament is definitely not the strongest. And here comes the problem, because one of the main assumptions of heavy fighters is to fight bombers. But how, we don't have speed. To get a good attack position, or firepower for quick destruction, and maneuvering around the bomber like a monkey won't bring it down. I don't want to judge prematurely, for sure, as soon as I get it, I'll make a movie about it. But for now, we are back to hunting bombers, and stealing candy from this crafty bomber beasts. What a times I see 4 bombers per team or 2 bombers and 2 ground attackers, so I have to choose who doesn't get candy in battle he <laughs>
That's pretty good. Hey pilots, I hope you like it, if so leave a like, more training videos coming soon, thank you for watching, greetings, and all the best in the new year 2023. Happy New Year.